The depth of space in scope and color like we've never seen before, all thanks to a massive telescope. In a monumental leap for humanity's quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope has just dropped a bombshell announcement that's bound to redefine the boundaries of our understanding. The JWST has just discovered unprecedented proportions of 632 unidentified objects sailing through the void from a distant solar system. But what exactly are these mysterious travelers, and what tales do they carry across the vast expanse of space? Join us as we decode the mysteries that have been flung by the 632 unidentified objects from another solar system. The spectacle of discovering peculiar objects suddenly appearing in the vast expanse of space isn't a new phenomenon. Throughout the annals of astronomy, instances have arisen where novel entities seem to materialize within our solar neighborhood. Yet the outcomes for these objects haven't always aligned with our optimistic expectations. Meanwhile, one of the most renowned occurrences hails from the Kepler mission, a grand endeavor aimed at demystifying the secrets of exoplanets beyond our familiar solar system. Equipped with a remarkable capacity to detect even the slightest fluctuations in starlight, Kepler's investigation uncovered a treasure trove of potential exoplanet candidates. Initially, these newfound celestial wanderers appeared poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. However, a closer examination unveiled a twist in this cosmic tale. More than half of the initially identified colossal exoplanets, though first seen as groundbreaking revelations, turned out to be mirages. These false positives, deceptive signals masquerading as genuine cosmic entities, offered a stark reminder that not all discoveries stand as solid truths until supported by an abundance of confirming data. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Mission, designed to scan vast celestial regions for exoplanet prospects, also encountered its share of surprises. In some instances, the promising observations faded into obscurity, revealing themselves to be fainter than anticipated. Navigating the intricate dance of light and shadows within our solar system, astronomers have faced a cosmic challenge, distinguishing between real celestial marvels and deceptive mirages. Extensive efforts have been poured into honing this skill, ensuring that the truths of the universe aren't obscured by illusions. But the journey doesn't stop there. It led us to the creation of a remarkable tool that doesn't just detect celestial objects, but does so with unparalleled precision. That's the cosmic marvel, the James Webb Space Telescope. Standing proudly in a league of its own, the James Webb Space Telescope boasts an extraordinary ability to delve deep into the early universe, a feat its predecessors could only dream of. Its substantial size and cutting-edge instruments grant it the power to peer back billions of years, capturing light from the farthest corners of space. Through this lens, it provides us a unique glimpse into the universe's infancy, unraveling the intricate tales of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. What sets the James Webb Telescope apart from its forerunners, like the Hubble Space Telescope, is its expanded vision. Imagine a spectrum of light, like a rainbow of cosmic clues. James Webb doesn't just observe part of this spectrum, it observes a much larger chunk, particularly in the infrared range. This advantage enables it to study celestial phenomena that would have remained hidden otherwise, all at once, a capability the Hubble couldn't match. Imagine a telescope with the power to see through cosmic curtains. The James Webb Space Telescope is that and more. Its secret weapon? An extended range that punches through the dust clouds that usually veil celestial sights. Imagine being able to see clearer and brighter, like having cosmic X-ray vision. By capturing a whopping six times more light than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST reveals not just stars, but entire constellations within intricate celestial neighborhoods, such as the spellbinding Carina Nebula. But the story gets even more exciting when we consider where this marvel is stationed, at the special point called Lagrange II. Roughly a million miles away from Earth, this point delicately balances the gravitational forces of the Earth and the Sun. What does that mean? No more wobbles caused by our planet's atmosphere. This ethereal vantage point erases the distortion and interference that Earth's atmosphere can cause, like a cosmic window cleaner. Floating high above our atmosphere, the JWST sidesteps the cosmic traffic jams of atmospheric turbulence, light pollution, and light absorption. 
This stellar seclusion gifts astronomers a front row seat to the universe, sands the smudges and blurriness that plagued earlier telescopes. The view is so pristine that it's like having an artist's canvas untouched by the elements. The JWST's location isn't just about avoiding annoyances, it's about tapping into cosmic wavelengths. Think of it like tuning into different radio stations. The JWST tunes into a broader range of wavelengths, especially in the infrared part of the spectrum. This is like listening to cosmic music that was previously inaudible. Earth's atmosphere is like a cosmic puzzle. It lets some light through but keeps other kinds at bay. When it comes to infrared light, it's like an invisible barrier. This limitation has kept many ground-based telescopes from fully exploring the universe in this crucial range. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has found a way to soar above these restrictions, giving it a golden key to the cosmos. Perched far beyond Earth's atmosphere, the JWST is like a cosmic eagle with unobstructed vision. Unlike its Earth-bound counterparts, it can freely observe a wide array of infrared wavelengths without interference. This superpower sets the stage for groundbreaking revelations previously locked away from us. But here's where the JWST's adventure gets even more captivating. Old telescopes often had a problem with the cold, not the JWST. It thrives in the chilly vastness of space. To achieve its best performance, its instruments and mirrors need to be kept at frosty temperatures. It's like they've been bundled up in cosmic winter coats. This icy environment might sound like a challenge, but it's a strength for the JWST. How? Well, it's all thanks to a clever sun shield. This shield wraps around the telescope, guarding it from the sun's scorching heat and ensuring that its sensitive instruments stay frosty. In this cool, controlled setting, the JWST becomes a cosmic hunter, picking up faint signals that other telescopes might miss. This means it can spot and study celestial objects that emit weak infrared signals like faraway galaxies, newborn planetary systems, and even ancient whispers from the universe's birth. The icy playground of the JWST is like a scientist's dream come true. Its space-based position allows it to transform what could be challenging into its unique advantages. Imagine a hidden treasure trove right in our cosmic backyard. It's called the Kuiper Belt, and it's like a bustling hub of celestial characters beyond Neptune's orbit. These aren't just ordinary space rocks. They're 632 fascinating ensembles of comets, asteroids, and fragments from our solar system's early days. Think of the Kuiper Belt as a cosmic pocket, a bustling marketplace where cosmic merchants display their wares. Among these wares are Kuiper Belt objects, a diverse group with their own stories to tell. Comets, like cosmic snowballs, dazzle the sky with their tails when they approach the sun. Asteroids, rugged space travelers, are like cosmic time capsules that give us a glimpse into the universe's beginnings. Size matters here too. The Kuiper Belt isn't just bigger, it's like the heavyweight champion compared to the asteroid belt, a realm between Mars and Jupiter that hosts most of our system's rocky leftovers. Imagine a bustling city compared to a quaint village. These asteroids come in all shapes and sizes, from pebbles to giants spanning hundreds of kilometers. They're like a cosmic jigsaw puzzle that astronomers are piecing together. But there's more to this cosmic interaction than meets the eye. In the Kuiper Belt, these objects are constantly on the move, interacting with the rhythm of gravity. Sometimes they collide, sending cosmic fireworks across the sky. It's like a cosmic ballet, with pirouettes and unexpected twirls. The Kuiper Belt is like a grand cosmic mystery novel waiting to be explored. Each object tells a chapter of our solar system's history. By studying them, scientists decipher the secrets of our past, our place in the universe, and the unseen forces that shape our cosmic neighborhood. It's a celestial journey that reminds us that our solar system is a dynamic, ever-evolving place with tales waiting to be discovered. Imagine the asteroid belt as a grand cosmic stage with two distinct acts, each starring its cast of characters. Act 1 is the inner belt, where asteroids swirl closer to Mars than to Jupiter. Just before Act 2, there's a gap called the Kirkwood Gap. Think of it as a mysterious doorway, about 2.5 astronomical units from the Sun. Beyond that door, Act 2 commences with the outer belt, where asteroids venture closer to Jupiter's orbit. This cosmic choreography emerges from the tango of gravity between these space boulders and their planetary neighbors. Though it sounds bustling, the asteroid belt is surprisingly spacious. Think of it like strolling through a wide desert. The asteroids, although fascinating, 
are often tens of thousands of kilometers apart. This cosmic desert lets spacecraft navigate through with ease. Unmanned explorers cruise through on missions either to the outer reaches of our solar system or to study specific asteroid actors up close. These spacecraft, like cosmic detectives, reveal asteroid secrets. They beam back data, images, and stories about these rocky players. They tell us tales about composition, structure, and even the ancient history etched into these celestial stones. But here's the twist. Despite its vastness, the asteroid belt's overall mass is just a fraction compared to other cosmic objects. Imagine it as a feather in the grand tapestry of space, a mere 3% of the moon's mass. This cosmic puzzle piece reminds us of the enormity and diversity of our solar system. Now let's peek beyond the asteroid belt. There's another cast waiting in the cosmic wings, the Kuiper Belt objects. These are the distant relatives, sometimes even tinier than asteroids, that occupy the outskirts of our solar system. Their combined mass is less than 1% of anything else out there. Now, imagine the Kuiper Belt as a frozen carnival beyond Neptune's backyard. It's like a treasure chest of cosmic goodies, although less hefty than our whole planet. These goodies, known as Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, come in all shapes and sizes, like a cosmic dress-up party. What makes these KBOs special is their frosty nature. They're like cosmic popsicles, made up of frozen stuff like methane, ammonia, and water. These icy treasures have been chilling in the Kuiper Belt's frigid depths since our solar system's dawn, keeping their cool for billions of years. This sets them apart from the rocky characters found closer to the sun. One of the coolest things about the Kuiper Belt is its VIP guest list of dwarf planets. Think of these as cosmic mini-celebrities. Pluto, Homea, and Quar are some of the famous faces in this lineup. They're like little siblings to the big planets, sharing traits like a round shape, decent size, and their gravitational sway over their cosmic neighborhoods. These mini-worlds are like time capsules from our solar system's early years, whispering tales of its youth and growth. Now let's count the attendees. Around 35,000 KBOs with diameters larger than 62 miles. A pretty impressive turnout. But hold on to your cosmic hats. There could be up to a staggering 100 million smaller and fainter KBOs measuring 12 miles or less across. So while we're talking about 632 mysterious objects, remember that the Kuiper Belt is like a hidden attic full of secrets. Within the Kuiper Belt's cosmic crowd, there's a troop of smaller actors that might be harder to spot, but play a big role in the show. Imagine them as the background dancers who make the stage come alive. While trickier to detect, they form a major part of the Kuiper Belt's population. This means scientists need to dig deep and do a lot of research to understand them better. To make sense of this diverse cast, scientists have sorted them into two main categories. The first group, called classical Kuiper Belt objects, are like steady hikers on a well-marked trail. They follow paths that aren't easily swayed by Neptune's gravitational tugs. The second group, resonant Kuiper Belt objects, are like cosmic dance partners with Neptune. Their orbits have a unique rhythm that resonates with Neptune's orbital dance. This makes them interact more intensely, like partners in an intricate ballroom routine. These dances create stable orbits and give us a peek into the Kuiper Belt's complex gravitational choreography. Imagine the Kuiper Belt as a bustling market with objects stacked up in three dimensions. Most of the action happens within 10 degrees above and below the ecliptic plane. This plane is like a flat dance floor where most planets, including Earth, do their orbital dance around the Sun. But the Kuiper Belt's market isn't limited to this floor. There's also a more spread out section, stretching even farther. Meanwhile, imagine the cosmic interaction, where planets waltz in a neat circle around the Sun. On the other hand, Kuiper Belt, it's like a group of cosmic rebels with their unique moves. Unlike the planets that stick to a flat routine, the Kuiper Belt objects add a twist with their significant tilt or inclination. This celestial tilt means that the KBOs don't just dance on the same plane as the planets. They have a different angle, like dancing to their cosmic beat. This makes them stand out as cosmic oddballs, adding a touch of excitement to our solar system's dance party. Most of the KBO action happens within 10 degrees above and below the ecliptic plane, the cosmic dance floor where planets groove. But here's where it gets interesting. This cosmic gathering forms a close-knit group, kind of like stars in a celestial huddle. Their orbits are inclined, making them resemble a cosmic choir practicing a special routine. But the Kuiper Belt doesn't just have a main act. 
Beyond this star-studded cluster, there's an after-party with a more spread-out crowd. Think of it as the cosmic carnival extending farther, with KBOs scattered in all directions. This adds a layer of mystery. What drives these cosmic partygoers to take their unique paths? Imagine a cosmic playground filled with celestial adventurers taking their zigzagging paths. While some stick to smooth orbits like the planets, others embrace their free spirit, following wobbly and tilted paths. This diverse cast of cosmic characters contributes to the Kuiper Belt's dense population. This packed assembly is like a cosmic community photo. It gives us a glimpse of the Kuiper Belt's true heft. It's not just a flat sheet, it's a sprawling cosmic playground. Think of it as a bustling city in space, where each building represents a Kuiper Belt object. These KBOs come in all sizes, shapes, and styles, forming a celestial mosaic that makes our solar system more colorful. In this 3D cosmic canvas, every nook and cranny is occupied by a KBO, each with its own story. Imagine these celestial wanderers as pieces of a grand cosmic puzzle, and astronomers are the puzzle solvers, piecing together the tales of their travels and the whispers of their ancient pasts. Imagine being a cosmic detective trying to peek into the Kuiper Belt's treasure trove of icy wonders. Here's the twist. These treasures are quite shy, so catching them in the act is tricky. Astronomers can't just zoom in and take a snapshot, but they've got a bag of clever tricks up their sleeves. So, what are these Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, made of? Think of them as cosmic ice cream cones, with flavors that freeze in the cold depths of space. They're like the cosmic leftovers from the solar system's icy beginnings. Most of them are a mix of water, ammonia, and methane. Scientists confirm this mix through a special technique called spectroscopy. It's like reading the cosmic recipe book by analyzing the light they give off. Diving into the fun part of the variety show, imagine this icy playground stretching outwards. Here, where it's super chilly, icy materials reign supreme. Think of it as a cosmic freezer, where water, ammonia, and methane hold their icy forms. This is where you'll find icy heroes like comets, cosmic snowballs that dazzle us when they swing by the sun. Scientists call these chill Kuiper Belt objects cold classical KBOs, and they're like the true ice cream lovers of the cosmic parlor. But there's more to this cosmic treat shop. As you venture closer to the sun within the Kuiper Belt, the icy mix starts to change. It's like moving from the deep freezer to the fridge. The flavors shift as the sun's warmth gently melts some of the icy coatings. This zone becomes a mix of icy and rocky objects, creating a fascinating array of cosmic confections. Now, imagine Kuiper Belt objects as cosmic shapeshifters, altering their appearances as they draw near to the sun's warmth. It's like cosmic dress-up, their composition costumes change as they interact with solar radiation and bask in the sun's proximity. This dynamic dance between the sun and these objects creates a cosmic makeover. Here's the twist. The sun's warmth can be a bit too much for some. Imagine cosmic ice cream cones melting in the sun's heat. For some Kuiper Belt objects, this warmth leads to a dramatic shift. Their icy veneer, made of water, ammonia, and methane, starts to evaporate like a morning mist. What's left behind are rocky and less volatile materials, turning these objects into cosmic chameleons. But wait, there's more to the story. Not all objects are affected in the same way. Some are like resilient space travelers, with the icy layer staying put despite the sun's attempt to steal their cosmic flavors. Others, however, are like cosmic marshmallows melting in hot cocoa, undergoing drastic transformations. Imagine trying to solve a puzzle where each piece has its unique shape and texture. That's what scientists face when studying these ever-changing Kuiper Belt objects. It's like trying to understand an ever-shifting kaleidoscope of cosmic compositions. To unlock these secrets, researchers are employing advanced tools like the James Webb Telescope, a cosmic detective with the ability to peer through space's veils and decode the mysteries of these icy travelers. It's a thrilling cosmic journey, a puzzle that's gradually revealing its pieces, bringing us closer to understanding the dazzling complexity of our solar system's distant realms. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.